Current gen GPUs are not only finally in stock, but the prices are falling pretty quickly. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community for safely buying and selling PC parts at a reasonable price, offering low fees and great customer service, which I can definitely attest to as I personally bought this RTX 3070 from Jawa anonymously, and not only did it arrive quickly, but when I ran into an issue, they immediately replaced it with a flawless substitute and asked that I only send the old one back after I confirmed the new GPU worked great. And the best part is the price I got this card at was well below other listings I could find anywhere else, likely thanks in part to Jawa's much lower seller fees of 9-12% to depending on when you join. So if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts on a platform with low fees and great customer service, be sure to click the link in the description below and watch out for some of my hardware that'll likely be popping up very soon. Okay, so if you've been on the hunt for an RTX 50 series card or maybe even an AMD card, well, it looks like you can actually finally purchase them, which might sound crazy. Here we are celebrating because you can buy a graphics card, but it's true, you literally have not been able to purchase these new graphics cards for quite some time. The only place you could really get them was on eBay for exorbitant prices. And I'm here to tell you, they're finally available. Now, what prices are they available at? Let's go ahead and take a look. And then after that, we'll actually go over pricing trends to see how far GPU prices have dropped and how much further they might continue to do so. And let's start off with first Nvidia as these are typically the most popular graphics cards, starting off with the RTX 5070 as this is one I've been keeping track of for quite some time. And if we head over to Newegg.com, which typically has the best availability and we search for the RTX 5070 and so sort by lowest price, what you're going to notice here is that, well, we do actually run into one for $569.99. Now, this is an open box MSI model, so it's not technically brand new, but this is just $20 off from the MSRP. But if we scroll down and look for one that is brand new, the cheapest one I'm seeing is $604.99. And I have seen a couple that were cheaper than that recently. And to be honest with you guys, that's probably only around $20 or $30 off from its MSRP. So the RTX 5070 is effectively just about at its MSRP and available today. And by the way, if you do want to pick one up, I will have affiliate links in the description below to everything I find in today's video. But yeah, the RTX 5070 was never particularly popular, even at its $549 MSRP, and the more expensive models were probably even less popular at their, you know, closer to $600 price range that I do recall, I believe, seeing them kind of slot in at. But regardless, that's a good trend that these are now available and just about at their MSRP. But what about the 5070 Ti? That was certainly a more popular graphics card. Yes, there is one popping up at the MSRP, but it's out of stock and we have to scroll down quite a bit to get down to an open box version for $839.99. And that's still almost $100 over the MSRP and it's open box. You have to scroll down even more to get to one that's actually new. I'm still scrolling here. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. There's a lot of open box. It seems like a lot of people are returning these maybe they're uh, feeling some buyer's remorse I'm not sure but when you scroll down finally you do get to a new one at $979.99 so it's safe to say that the 5070 Ti is still pretty popular there's a lot of people picking them up and for that reason they're not meeting demand and it's still well over MSRP although this is certainly better than what I've seen in the past what about the RTX 5080 and this one if you take a look here it's definitely better I mean you are seeing we have to scroll down quite a bit to get to an open box one, but open box for $1,259.99. Yeah, it should be at $999. Although let's be honest, a lot of the AIB models will probably never be that because they want to charge maybe $50 or $100 more for their special model. And if you consider that, sure, it's pretty close at $1,200 something dollars. However, not too long ago, these were $1,400 or $1,600. So that's a pretty huge improvement. Now you will have to scroll down even further to get to a brand new one. And that's gonna be this PNY one for around $1,376, but this still does look like a pretty good improvement over what I was seeing not too long ago. And then finally with the RTX 5090, this thing used to just straight up not be available. You could not purchase it anywhere except for on eBay. Well, that's changed. You can also now buy the RTX 5090 starting at $2,919.99, which yes, is insanely expensive. However, they were always insanely expensive. Now, this should be 
probably closer to around $2,400, so it's still about 500 bucks off in my opinion. That's where I think they should be sitting. However, this is a whole lot better than, you know, $4,000 or completely unavailable. So we've definitely seen some improvements, but how much of an improvement have we seen on the RTX 50 series as a whole? Well, actually, if we take a look here at this chart that I've been keeping track of on the price, you can see that there was definitely a lot of ups and downs during the RTX 50 series when it came to availability. But if you take a look at the trend overall, the pricing of the RTX 5090 in terms of sales on eBay has absolutely collapsed over time. I mean, it's gone down very, very significantly in terms of that pricing. And where we are today is actually the average pricing for a regular RTX 5090 model, not something crazy like a liquid cooled version, is now under $3,000. Now that's significant because what this means is we're probably on the precipice of even further price reductions at retail, not on eBay, because actually at about $2,900 or $3,000 for an RTX 5090 on eBay for an AIB model, they're taking a loss and a pretty huge one because they're probably purchasing it at around $2,900. And even if they sell it for around $3,000, well, they're actually only going to walk away with probably around $25 or $2,600. That's a massive loss. And I've definitely noticed that there's very few sales on eBay now. They've definitely cut down to about a quarter of the amount of sales there were, which means we're likely about to see all scalping completely stop on the RTX 50 series. There's just gonna be no reason to try and resale any of them other than maybe a 5090 Founders Edition. We've reached the point finally where eBay flipping should basically completely come to a stop except for specific models. And that's great because the pricing that you just saw at retail, well, it's great that pricing has dropped at retail and in some cases it's available whereas it wasn't before. You should see pricing start to decline pretty rapidly now that nobody's scalping them, and they've been out on the market for a number of months. So what do I expect to see here? Well, when you take a look at the trend, we've actually cut the price in half in about five, six months. So I actually expect that the RTX 5090 is gonna start to drop from around $2,900 all the way down to $2,600 or $2,400 over the next month or two on the RTX 5090. And likewise with the 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070, I actually expect those things to hit MSRP in the next month or two. But of course, everything that we're going over today could totally change based on tariffs or other factors in the market, which I don't think are gonna make a big difference. I think things will proceed and you'll see prices continue to drop, but again, we don't know for sure. Regardless, it does look like the trend of GPU pricing continuing to decrease is still happening, and at least you can finally purchase these things without having to risk purchasing one over on eBay. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 5090 will actually come down to 2400 and in some cases, maybe even closer to the $2,000 MSRP? Or do you think they're gonna stay closer to $3,000? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you wanna see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.